Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Nice sunny Sunday, as you can see in our windows in the background, finally. So today, it's all about my queen. We're gonna call it Honey Bunny's Home Stew. So anyways, we're gonna make it a real short one today. Basically, food videos can run on and on, and with all this social distancing, it seems like we all have 700 channels that we follow. We don't have time for more than a few minutes for everybody, or you'll never get through anybody's content. So we're going to compress this quite a bit, but show you a way to make some real easy stew, great stew, with a game changer in your stew. So, be right back. So today's stew is going to be quick and easy and it's meant really to be done in your RV. So you don't want to have a whole bunch of things to pack in there. So Lisa's going to show you, you can either pre-chop all this up and bring it in all in one bag uh, to your RV and just throw it in the back corner of the fridge or in a cooler or whatever, or you can cut it up there if you like to do it right away while you're cooking instead of ahead of time. So the only thing that's ahead of time for me is the meat. Um, we made a whole bunch last time, we buy a bunch of stew meat, and then we pre-season it, made some stew, and then all the leftover meat we put in the freezer. And it's in a nice thin Ziploc freezer bag that'll fit in any corner of your fridge or freezer in your RV. So Lisa's got a packet. Um, normally where we like to spice things up ourselves, hold that right up there so you can see, I don't know if everybody wherever they are can get this. Um, if you're in the States, maybe something similar, but just slow cooker seasoning pack for making stew. Again, we're not trying to complicate this. I obviously can't pack my whole stew, my whole spice cupboard in the trailer. <laughs> so, and some of you know how I like my spices. So anyways, this is a great alternative and we're going to show you how to make real simple RV stew today. So in the background, you can see Lisa's getting a Massive mushrooms. I want you to see the size. Of, look at the size of these mushrooms. Isn't that fantastic? You can't beat fresh mushrooms. Anyways, you can see I've got, uh, let me get that better for you, my holy plate um, that I use on there for infusing the smoke through everything. We're going to throw the meat, which is already pre-packaged. I, I froze some before because last time we made stew, we pre-season our meat and freeze it. And then it infuses all those flavors as you uh, put it out and let it thaw. So anyways, let's get this meat on and get it in the smoker while Lisa chops up these fantastic mushrooms. <laughs> okay, well Lisa's cutting up the vegetables. So again, here you can take all these vegetables, your potatoes, your onions, your carrots, everything you like to put in your stew, and if you don't want to just throw them right away in there and cut them up in the trailer, you can cut all this up before you guys take off camping and put them in a bag. They're ready to go. And there's all my beef. So on my holy tin, because it's Sunday, you can see the holes through it. Again, so the smoke infuses through everything. There's the game changer, everybody. And we're gonna do this on smoke, nice low temperature, or get down to at least 180, 170 to 180, and only for 20 minutes. We don't want this meat to cook. We just want it to infuse some of that great smoke flavor. Lisa's hard at work. Doing the multitasking. Look how much celery in one shot, hey? Eh? So, getting the celery going. Get that in there. We'll let the let the crying begin. Everybody loves that. They're not even wearing goggles, huh? <laughs> Have you seen those? Have you guys seen the goggles? Just chop it up. Everything in a stew, at least our stew, nice and coarse. We don't we don't chop anything fine for stew. Look at the size of the mushrooms again. Look at, look at the size of those. those they're, they're the size of potatoes. How fantastic is that? Okay. There it is. Look at it. Bigger. Bigger than the potato. That's some mushrooms, everybody. Tucker was less than cooperative. Didn't want to come outside, but let's just have a look at this meat in the Traeger. Oh, yeah. Some nice smoke going on. Not cooking. We're only at... Uh, 136 degrees and we're gonna let that go for about 15 20 more minutes back in the kitchen it's mushroom time so 
this is literally all Lisa does is just uh, eight them. Is that right? Eight yeah. quarter <laughs> quarter eight them. <laughs> They're so big, you got to eat them. You can't even quarter them. But nice big chunks like that, they're, of course, going to cook down. But, yeah, I, you know, they say everything's bigger in Texas. Nah, -uh. these are Canadian mushrooms. Thank you very much. Look at the size of that. Bigger than your head. Has its own gravity. Hey, okay? I think it has its own atmosphere. All right, so the Holy Trinity is already in there. The celery the carrots and the onions. And now this great big pile of potatoes and mushrooms are going in live. Live as you see it. If there's a wreck, it's going on YouTube. Look at, oh, look at that, scored. Not one single piece hit the counter. <laughs> now we'll just get that mixed up and Lisa will show you what's next. Okay, so basically I'll just let Lisa explain how she makes this. There's instructions on the packet, but... Yeah, I just, it's it's nice and simple. I think it needs like a, co a cup of water. You mix it in with the powder, shake it up, and dump it over top of all your vegetables. Easy peasy. Make sure you use cold water when you're mixing this up. It's just like mixing gravy. You don't want hot water because it just makes clumps and lumps for you. Handy dandy Tupperware shaker. That's all there is to it. There we go. Now, all we have to do is get the temperature set, get the lid on this, and go out and check on our beef in the smoker. So everything's in there. Um, depending on how late in the day I get this started, depends on what temperature I set it at. Um, it's still just before noon, so I'm going to let this stew go on low. So usually seven to eight hours. Um, if you're doing it on high, if it's later, it's usually done in about four to five. Okay, meat's in from the smoker. That was about 35 minutes on smoke. So that 140 degree range, you can see just barely on the edges. Just a little bit of cooking starting, but uh, 99% uh, still raw, just taking in that nice uh, fuses of smoke and spices. So I will grab the lid for my queen and she can introduce that awesome flavors in. So there you go. Get that mix. Okay, so get that beef all nice and mixed in there. Look at that. Doesn't that look good enough to eat already? So, got beef everywhere in there because those flavors are going to infuse in your stew too. So, you want to mix that up really good. Fire your lid back on, and nothing to do now but go play horseshoes and wait for supper to be ready. Bring you back when it's finished. Alrighty, so we'll do the flyby, the table set. We're going to top this off with a bit of a leftover corn on the cob that we had. And let me tell you, I can't tell you, that's a hearty stew. And, and this was a really good batch of corn. So, the butter, we always melt ours and spread it on instead of trying to roll in the hard butter. Maybe Arkansas would like that. Anyways, there's dinner. Well, there you have it. Take it away, Queen. <laughs> Stew in your RV. Nice and easy, double game changer today. We did the hot sauce and we smoked the meat. Quick, easy set it and forget it to use the old line put your slow cooker on let it sit let it cook all afternoon while you're outside enjoying the sunshine and having a game of horseshoes or something yeah so if you're like us we have like a plastic fold-up banquet table that we sit outside beside the trailer we put our little gas grill for doing breakfast the griddle thing on there and room to cook and put your things outside you can put your your slow cooker on there or sous vide we'll get to that in another video and our grill sits beside that so we have our outdoor kitchen because let's face it who wants to cook and make heat in your rv when it's hot outside and your air conditioner is already working overtime so put it outside leave it out there make your neighbors jealous they're going to smell that and they're going to be like who's cooking that what's for supper, <laughs> so, what's for supper? can we come over <laughs> no you have the virus you stay away <laughs> no but seriously super easy throw it outside turn it on eight hours on low you're good you can come back home from whatever you're doing and have a great meal so thanks for watching everybody and stay, stay safe, safe. <laughs>